What is going on YouTube? Uh, back here again today with another video. Um, I'm planning to go fishing this next coming weekend and uh, catfishing specifically. And uh, I was going to make some bait that way it has time to sit and uh, marinate and uh, all that good stuff. So I thought I'd make a little video on what I do for my bait. First, you will need some chicken. I usually get just a cheap chicken, whether it's expired the day before expired or something that's freezer burned. And um, it usually works pretty good. But it all just depends on how much bait you want to make. Uh, for this video, I'll just use this one. So what you're going to need is a chicken, a knife, and um, I use these uh, Hawaiian Punch Wild Purple Smash little things you add to water. Kind of like Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid works. Jello powder works. I mean, there's a bunch of uh, bunch of things you could use. I also put in some garlic powder. That's always good stuff. Stinky. And I use pure vanilla extract. It could be, you know, the fake one, the real one, doesn't matter. It's all the same. So what you want to do is cut off those fat pieces. You want to cut it in about one inch, inch and a half, just depends on how big a hooks you're planning on using. Just get it all cut up. Don't have to be pretty. Just has to be kind of all the same size, whatever size. You can make it smaller, bigger. All just depends what kind of fish you're going after. I usually tend to make mine in one inch cubes, sometimes a little smaller. I know my cutting skills ain't all that perfect. I didn't go to culinary school. But uh, it does the job just fine. Be sure not to cut yourself. Very sharp. Oh, come on now. Okay. Now that that's done, what you're going to need is a Ziploc bag or some type of tub. I use a Ziploc bag. The gallon size seems to be easier. But if you want to use an old coffee can or anything else you have around your house that's empty, it all works the same. What you do is just throw all that chicken in there. And you can do this with weenies, chunks of ham, whatever, whatever bait you're using, really. You use it with whatever. What I go ahead and do is I grab a handful of these packages that I just showed you and uh, cut the ends off and you just pour them all in the bag you can use any color you want this is great because this is what my wife had in the in the cupboard but if you want to make special special cherry or blueberry or pineapple whatever floats your boat once you get that all in there nice and good take uh, garlic powder and I usually dump about half of the container in there <laughs> the stinkier the better but you know just put quite a bit in there so it's nice and and then with the pure vanilla extract I just it comes out pretty fast so there's no reason just to measure it so I usually just dump about half this little bottle in there and that's it close the ziploc bag and mix it all up and when you use other colors like red or blue or yellow stuff like that it's it's a really bright 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 color and uh, jello tends to stick a little bit better to the chicken is what I've noticed in my experience but kool-aid or these little drink packages work just fine that's it you just mix it up in there I know it probably looks black on the camera but it's just purple it's just really dark purple put that in the refrigerator let it sit for a few days I usually let them sit in there for about a week, usually because I make it like on the, week, the Sunday before, if I'm planning on fishing that next weekend. But you could cut the whole deal of chicken up. There's still two more breasts in here. If you're wanting to cut that up much more to make a whole lot more bait for yourself, I mean, it's, it's really cheap. And I mean, as this chicken, you can see there, it's, it's $2.94 for three big breasts. So that's not bad. It's got a bunch of fat and stuff on there, but it does just fine. But yeah, I mean, if, that's, if this has worked best for me, I just thought I'd make a little video on on the bait that I use. And maybe y'all could try it out. Let me know if it works for you. Maybe there's a twist that you put it on there. If you didn't, uh, if you want to learn more of these recipes, uh, catfishandcarp.com. 
their, that YouTube channel. Luke, he has a bunch of recipes on there for um, catfish bait, but this is kind of my little twist on it. And if y'all appreciate the video, I'm sure if you'd like the video and subscribe for more videos. And uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see y'all guys next time.